It's hard to believe, but the end of the financial year is fast approaching, meaning so too is tax time. Mm -hmm, that time. So if you're <laughs> keen to maximise your return this year, what should you be doing now? Effie Zahos is here to break it all down. Effie, we don't like this time of year. It's always a bit tricky, right? But tell us a bit that there are some t tax perks, aren't there? Uh, absolutely, and, and tradies are certainly taking advantage of this. So the instant tax write-off looks like it's coming to an end. The Treasurer has probably, well, not announced anything that's going to be extended. So essentially, if your business is eligible, what that means is that you can purchase an asset and write it off in the year that you install it or it's ready to be used. Now, tradies are certainly taking advantage of this. There's been an uptick in the number of purchases of utes. You've got a ute threshold there to watch out for. It is 64741 but I believe that will get you a Hilux or a Ford Ranger. Mm, so something to talk to your accountant about. You've got to get in before the 30th of June. You can get your hands on one. It might be a, a weight that you can still claim it. I think it's got to be actually ready to use or installed so that's something you need to check with your accountant. That mm. could be a bit of a, 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 yeah, a loophole. Who there. else's tax will be Im impacted by tonight's budget? Well, Look Carl, a, a lot of this has come out and some of it has been in place. So the load a middle income tax offset. That was always going to end at the end of 2022. Mm. So unfortunately, low income earners will probably see they may pay more tax because that offset was as high as 1500 if you're earning in that bracket. The stage three tax cuts, they look like they're going ahead. The tip there talking to the accountants was that if you're a high income earner, your tax deductions may be less in, in uh, the financial year of 2024 because of the tax cuts. So they're saying maybe talk to an accountant and see if you, if you should purchase earlier and then you've got your car expense deductions that have gone up and also the big change working from home you've got to get those books in order and that kicked in from the first of March you need a record for every hour all right well then we're talking here about what we can expect in the budget yeah what do you reckon is going to come out of it uh, Tax-wise, oh, I don't know if they're going to see big, big changes right. tax-wise. I mean, most of it's come out. The super is the big one. I think for consumers, there's little you can do. What the budget delivers, delivers. I think you just got to watch out with those end-of-year financial sales. We get caught up and think, I've got to buy everything because I'm going to get a dollar I spend, I get a dollar return. You actually don't. Here are some sums to show that if you brought these three items, they're going to cost you 738 If you're on a $90,000 income, you're still out of pocket $476. Mm. So don't just chase a tax return for the, the sake of it. I'm not going to dob anyone in, um, <laughs> but a couple of years ago, my brother um, bought, bought a fridge uh -oh. and claimed it on tax. <laughs> what what sort of fish? unusual tax deductions have Aussies made? Well, if that fridge was to help him earn an income, he paid for it. I hope it's OK. Leave your brother out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty I actually good idea. spoke to the ATO and they came up with these examples, which I thought were fascinating. These people got caught out. A youth worker tried to claim a luxury car worth $145,000. A youth worker. So that doesn't match up. I found this one interesting. An accountant was trying to claim opera grounds and a trip to Italy. They were doing a career transition, but the fact is they actually hadn't earned any income as an opera singer. So you can't just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the transition from an accountant to from opera singer. From an accountant <laughs> to an opera... Does busking count? Uh, I don't know if the ATO is going to let you go to Italy if you want to become a busker. So I found that, again, that rule there comes down to the, you know, the expense has to relate to the income earned. This accountant had not earned a cent as an opera singer and they were right. trying to claim a trip to Italy. Uh, an admin officer, administration officer, was trying to claim six different cars. Problem is, they only owned one of them. <laughs> Oh, this is so weird. Are these made-up stories? No, they're not. That came from the ATO last night, and the ATO tells me that next week they're going to release their red flags, what they're looking for for this financial okay. year, so I'll keep you on top they're of that. They're definitely tightening the screws. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Get on their website, because it is pretty good as far as what you can mm. claim. So yeah. stay within those red Look flags. Look forward to seeing totally. a big white fridge as one of the red flags. <laughs> Here are today's top stories. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?